man. Ever see a guitar like this? Ever? Ever? No, you haven't. This is uh, Moss Wright number eight, prototype, 1988. Flame, solid body, translucent purple. Um, it's got this awesome maple thing going on there with the flame on the back of the neck and everything. And that looks like crazy, is that a rosewood fingerboard? It looks like it to me. Uh, crazy shape, three pickups. I'll do this really cool thing, like, let's go with the Vox AC30. Treble pickup. <laughs> Off. And then thin sounding. <laughs> Different voicing. Oh, yeah. Ole. Um, middle pickup. <laughs> Off. Different voicing. Uh, neck pickup. Off. And a different voicing. Now, let's do the different voicing and the different voicing of the middle pickup together. You get that Stevie Ray Vaughan thing like... See if it sounds different with them the other way. Nope. This was cool. Now, if my theory is correct, when you put these two, this pickup and this pickup, this way, the same kind of thing with the. go all the fudging around and turn on something else and go oh yeah uh whoa Well, when I go to this pickup and I go to the evil robot, love and inside, love and free. Moss Wright number 9, uh, 1988 Moss Wright Flame, solid body, fluorescent pink sparkle. I think my mom has nail polish like this. Um, signed by, signed and dated by, yes. And I've never seen a headstock like this, but it was signed by, um, yeah, Semi Mosley and on the, it's on the back of the headstock. So uh, let's see what we're going to do here. I got to respect, uh, respect. Um, we just did a guitar just kind of like this, but it had three switches. This only has one, so you get... This pickup, middle pickup, neck pickup. Thank you, good night. I got a request from Dr. Morgan out in Scotland. He wanted to hear the powder song up here. This is how the riff goes. <laughs> I'm going to do the bridge for you, but i got to find the notes first. There we go. All right. Cool. Now, tuning up. This guitar is way hotter than some of the other ones that we've been using. I'm going to knock, well, knock the ball. <laughs> knock the wall over. Tuning again. That's just this and the evil robot. There is no gain, no pedal. But I would put a pedal in. And I'm going to go into the neck pickup. And I'm going to do a whammy bar, psychedelic version of American Woman. <laughs> Oh, wait. 
Okay, you see what's going on here? I can't finish because these strings keep popping. The E string is gone. And if I tune it up, but check. Monstrite, 1965. Uh, Ventures, Mark 1, Double Neck, 6 and 12. Uh, and this is number 10. I need overdrive or something. And I'm out of tune. Hold on a second. There we go. We're working out. Two, three, four. Say, man, I gotta hang out on this 12 string for a second because it's. I close my eyes and she slipped away. some awesome crazy vocals in that song man uh probably could do it on another date but not now next <laughs> monster number 11 1979 uh monster Ride custom from the chinery 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 collection walnut maple uh walnut with maple specially made by semi mosley uh for his business partner robert gentry must have been a strong guy because this is the heaviest guitar yet there's got to be like what 40 pounds uh, what 20 it's not 12 pounds. We're going to weigh the sucker. This is like 20 pounds. It's on my back. I know. Okay. So, wait. Yeah, it's about 20 pounds. It's what? 13.7. 14.7. 7. Almost 15. Almost 18 pounds. It's crazy. Okay. And it sounds amazing. And because it's got a big body, but it's got, it's really hot. It's like single coils because it's got blades. We're getting feedback and we don't have a pedal on. This is just the amp. So let's go to the Vox AC30. Really hard to play. <laughs>
forget all that stuff. I gotta do, learn it again. I don't think that's the right key. Ah! Okay. So. It's really hot, man. This is insane, this guitar. So I'm going into the evil robot so I can do this because I got a big guitar on. Wearing it kind of high because of the strap, and I'm gonna go. Medley. That's my Ted Nugent. Next! Oh yeah, this is uh, number 12. And it's uh, mm, 1990 Monster Riot prototype gospel guitar. Gospel guitar? All right, triple band. Wait, I can't play a gospel guitar. Just kidding. Um, Triple bound, three tone sunburst. Signed and dated by Semi Mosley. And similar to the guitar played by the late, great Kurt Cobain, which is why I was playing um, that song. <laughs> Not even a, a overdrive pedal or anything, man. I've been digging the neck pickup. Well, I just told this thing out of. That's in tune. That's a new chord. <laughs> All right. Uh, thanks for checking out these guitars. Um, I had a lot of fun doing them. I'm gonna go take a nap. <laughs> I don't nap. Anyways, um, Fred Americana, hanging out, and we'll see you real soon at a place near you or on YouTube. I'm Phil X. Have a kick-ass day!